Jag får höra en kille som sjunger. Han kommer att sjunga den här. That's the way I like it. Ho, ho. Ja, den går någonting i den stilen. Han heter Random Sheridan. Huh. Well, I would like to say it's a pleasure to be here in Montreal. I would like to say that. But this French-speaking stuff is pissing me off. I'm in the shower yesterday. I get here yesterday, I want to take a shower. I get in the shower, there's a knob that has C. And a knob that has F. <laughs> Now I'm not familiar with the F. <laughs> we don't have that on our knobs at home. <laughs> But we do have the C. <laughs> So me and my naked body are in the shower. <laughs> Figure I'll just turn on the old C. <laughs> well, the water came out and it was just, just kind of tepid. And I thought, oh, this is nice. I'll wait for it to just get colder. <laughs> But something was wrong. <laughs> just began to get hotter and hotter. There's nothing worse than being in a hot shower. You've got it as comfortably hot as you can stand it. Then you hear the scariest sound you can hear in a hot shower. You hear your next door neighbor's toilet flush. <laughs> I'm all lathered up. <laughs> and I remember I looked down and my hootie hoo looked up at me. And my hootie hoo went. <laughs> I didn't even know my hootie hoo could make noise. <laughs> It just stood there. I'm thinking, oh my God, I've got less than a millisecond before lava comes out of there. <laughs> And there's nowhere to run in your shower. You're just shh, Just trying to make sure I didn't get any hot water on my hootie hoo. Because you can't blow on that, you can't. Because if you could, none of us would be at work the next morning. I'm just not having a fun Canadian time. First time I came to Canada, I didn't know about the metric system. I drove here. You have kilometers, we have miles per hour. Miles per hour is about a half as much kilometer. If you're doing 20 here, if you're doing 20 in the United States, you're doing roughly 40 kilometers in Canada. I did not know this. <laughs> I'm in my car doing a speed limit, 55 miles an hour. Moment I get to the border, the first thing I see is a sign that says, A hundred and ten. I'm flying down the highway. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, I see a sign that says, Slow to 80. Children crossing. It's the least I can do. <laughs> Those kids can't run that fast. <sighs> Gotten used to the shower now. It's my, my, my hotel room. It's, uh, I have a mirror over my bed. I don't, yeah, one guy. Yeah. 
I don't know if you've ever had a mirror over your bed, but if you have, you know it's very important to have someone else there with you. <laughs> I didn't know that, it's just myself. I woke up this morning, I damn near scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I thought a large naked man was about ready to jump on top of me. <laughs> but that example reminds me of relationships. My perfect example, this is what I, my philosophy of relationships. I don't think you get to know someone. I don't think you really and truly get to know someone until you sleep with them. And I'm not talking about sex. I'm talking about being unconscious in a bed with someone. <laughs> right now, all the married couples are going, that's the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> Women love that joke. Men just get real quiet. It's true though, when you sleep with somebody, you can't hide the way you are because you're unconscious. You sleep with somebody, you find out they're a bed hog. You know what a bed hog is. That's when you sleep in a king size bed, but for some reason there's only this much room on the bed for you. For some reason the other person's butt just keeps expanding while they're sleeping. The dog is looking at you going, come on down here man, come on. It's cooler down here. The big butt can't get you. with someone and you find out they know kung fu only when you're unconscious. <laughs> you ever laying next to someone, they roll over, elbow you in the head, and then they wake up and go, what's wrong, can't you sleep? <laughs> now, without a helmet. <laughs> people snore, man, that's weird. Some people snore like they eat. You know what I'm talking about? Some people are like, <laughs> in a blanket? What do you got, a ham in there? You got snacks in there, get it out of there! Some people snore, they just inhale, they never exhale. You're laying next to somebody 20 minutes, just... You ever snore so loud you wake yourself up? That's just plain stupid, isn't it? Fell asleep on the couch watching TV? <laughs> and you always have that surprised look on your face because you can't figure out where the heck that noise came from. You ever almost asleep and you get that sleep shake jerk maneuver going? What the heck is that all about? Your eyes are almost closed. Your brain's almost shut down. But apparently an arm or a leg still have business left to do. And they've neglected to inform you they will be working while you're sleeping. wake up in the middle of the night and you roll over and you look at your mate and the moonlight hits them just right and you just want to gingerly reach over and smack the crap out of them. <laughs> they didn't do anything wrong, you just want to flick them in the nose and then roll back over and pretend like you're sleeping. <laughs> Some of you have been married so long you don't even pretend, you're just staring right at them. <laughs> yeah, I slapped you, you bonehead. The worst of worst, though, the person you deem the only one to sleep in bed with you will actually steal something you need, the blankets. <laughs> there is nothing you can do to stop them. 
If they want your blankets, they will get your blankets. You could staple your blankets to your ass. <laughs> they will get your blankets. You go to bed, you have them pajamas, a little light sheet, a wool blanket, a down comforter. You're warm and toasty. Then you wake up about four o'clock in the morning. The only reason you woke up is you felt a draft. You look down, you're buck naked in bed. But lying next to you, the mummy is there. They have every blanket wrapped around them, part of the draperies they've yanked down. A throw rug from the attic is wrapped around their head. And when they wake up in the morning, they have the nerve to look you right in the face and say, it was too hot last night. Before I go, I have something special for you. So let me just say, hit the tape.